and we welcome the new face of British arm wrestling, Paul Smooth Waters of the Preston Panthers. This guy is talent personified. As I said at the top of the broadcast, those uh, regular viewers of international arm wrestling will be very familiar with seeing Ted the Elf Wilson in the bantamweight division. Not today. He's not put on any weight, but he wants the challenge, and he's moving into the welterweight division. Wilson goes up in weight to face the new explosive Paul Smooth Waters. Paul Waters with a military style haircut there and you can see straight away the size difference. Ted the Elf in red, Paul Smooth Waters in black. But I can tell you this, Ted Wilson, Mohican and all, all 64 kilos of him, he's an absolute animal. And Paul Waters will need to be on his guard here because Ted may shock him, and Wilson straight away showing the power that he has. Waters transitions to the hook. That's the name smooth. He can move from one position to the other, but he's certainly matched here on technique by Ted Wilson, who's going for the squeeze reversal. The back pressure rotates the hand. Winner, Elf Wilson, with an absolutely tremendous reversal. It hit the hook. We were deep, deep inside. The elbow move from the elf. He dips for the pad. Can't take it because of the power of Waters. And as Waters started to breathe, watch this reversal from Wilson. He starts to carve backwards, drops the shoulder, squeezes into the hand. And Ted the elf with the Andy Wise style reversal can open a top roll. There's the side pressure. And Ted Wilson stepping up in weight and stepping onto the board with the first win. What an impressive start by Ted. He had to work very, very hard to do it, but the shock factor effective against Paul Smooth Waters, and the bigger man swallows hard there. Remember Paul, a very, very young man, so he knows that he's against a class athlete here, and he's probably a little bit concerned about that. The experience, the overall class of Ted is above Paul, but Paul, if he can relax and be confident, has every advantage, leverage, power, weight, size. But he just needs to relax. This guy's ability is incredible. A tremendous young arm wrestler, Paul Waters. Oh, that's a better hit from Waters. Ted Wilson working hard to contain it. And Waters has broken back his hand. Now this is ominous for Ted Wilson. Ted has moved to his tricep. Not necessarily a great move for Ted because even though he can hold up Paul Waters for power, this will be doing massive damage to his tendons. His wrist will be shot to pieces. And surely in the second round, this is not a good idea for Ted. He's moved onto the tricep and Paul Waters attacks with the side pressure. Waters levels the score and the bigger, younger man is on the mark. Takes that one. Table time, maybe. Maybe just feel a little bit rusty, but... Your wrist is strong, that proves it. Yeah, yeah. You went wrong back this No, way. no, I was starting to dig it back in again. Yeah. Andy Barker right. working in the corner of Ted Wilson. Keith Taylor, who we used to seeing in the stripes, who's the flagship puller of the Preston Panthers, working with young Paul Waters. His protege, this is uh, the guy that Keith has started from a puppy. Uh, which he still very much is. Paul, a very young guy, 18 years old. But what a potential star this man is. He's already 1-1, even though he's bigger than Ted Wilson. It's a step up in class for Paul Waters. And I'll tell you what, he's blasted back the hand of Ted. Now, I think that's because Ted hung on to that match so long that in round two, his wrist was busted back and uh, it's done damage because Paul Waters now is in control on the hand and wrist. And once again, Ted Wilson, strong though he is holding uh, Paul Waters up from there, this is not necessarily the wisest move. I would have dropped that match and gone for a strap where he can apply more pressure. But Paul Waters now arches in another tremendous transition. That's why they call him smooth, because he just is silk moving from one position to another. 
Now watch on the hit here, there's the leverage advantage. And Paul Waters now blasts the hand open. Now you can see how strong this bantamweight is. Ted Wilson, he's giving away something like 12 kilos in this uh, match. I mean, even on paper, it's five kilos, and Paul Waters is dropping to make the weight. He'll be weighing around 77, 78 kilos here. And Ted Wilson walks round at 64 kilos, 65. So. For him to be able to hold that power for that long is very impressive in terms of his body strength. But from the experience perspective, the smart money would be to drop the match and get into a strap where he can apply his pressure more fluidly. As it is, he chose to hang on, maybe pride getting in the way, but uh, I fear for him because at the end of the day, that will have done That's enormous funny. damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go inside now, anyways. Trying to see well my office. Right. Burnt I'm all settled. ligaments out, but if I can get, settled. I can get the. Yeah. Andy Barker and Ted Wilson talking there, and Ted says I'm going to hook him this time, which uh, the theory is sound. The practice may be very difficult. He, he did actually say he'd blown all the ligaments out, probably more than you know, young man. I think uh, Ted Wilson will struggle to make this hook. He needs to be lightning fast because Paul Waters has a height and a leverage advantage. As, you can, as you've seen twice now, he's been able to break open the hand of Ted Wilson pretty easily. So Ted is going to need to be really fast out of the block to, be, to have any chance of setting his power. I believe if he does, he, oh, he's managed to get inside and I eat my words. But Paul Waters matches him there. And Ted Wilson goes for the drive and it's a reversal attempt from Waters. He's carving into the hand. Look at that. He's pulled open the wrist and hand so fluidly and then moves to the tricep. What a transition from Paul Waters. This goal, oh, that class. Three movements in one and each one more fluid than the last. Paul Waters demonstrates why so many people believe that he is the future of British arm wrestling. Watch this. He's driven Ted right down to the pad, was unable to finish it. Ted set the hook and started to counter. Now the reversal is there. It's evident he starts to carve high into the hand of Ted Wilson. Ted thinks he's out of trouble, but there's the reversal attempt. And bang, the wrist is back. Now from that position, he can finish the match with a top roll. Starts to do so as he feels his hand break. He just moves to a tricep press. Now watch this elbow movement. He's going to transition back to the lap drag and try press again. All in one fluid movement. Bang, bang, winner. Paul Will, Paul Waters. I, I nearly mongrel dog the two there. Paul Waters is absolutely on fire at the Trafford Centre and often. With a young man like that, once he gets over the nerves and he relaxes and starts to believe that he can win the match, the very best just trying to keep, keep me hand comes out of him. Yeah. yeah, he's very quick, yeah, yeah. And Ted Wilson, I think, has just come to the realisation that he is in a lot of trouble here. Paul Waters, he might be a young man and Ted had a lot of experience benefits on him, but the, the size, the weight and the power advantage that Paul brought into this match are very much evident now. And one other factor is uh, very evident, and that's that Paul Waters can wrestle beyond belief. In all positions, he's fluid. In all positions, he's very, very strong. He transitions absolutely sweetly. He can move from one position to another very, very easily. Now Ted Wilson looks focused, he starts to attack with side pressure, but it didn't work at all. His wrist is just blown to bits. And once again, Paul Walt oh, very smart from Ted. He intentionally fouled there, popped his elbow in the air. Very wise move, and it was uh, good that he had the presence of mind to do that, to get the restart. Lucky not to be given the running foul, but he, uh, he gets the restart. Can he do anything from it? He went for the side pressure there, tried to go straight to the pad. Paul Waters matched him on speed and carved his wrist and hand wide open. Paul was in control beyond a doubt. It's a top roll attempt this time from Ted, but his wrist is clearly shot. And Paul Waters is going to wipe him out here at Manchester unless he can pull off a miracle. Because he starts to drive there. Waters is on the counter before the match starts. Blast back into the hand and wrist. 
of Ted. And here comes the side pressure. It's driving down now. And Ted Wilson watches an agonizing defeat is laid upon him. That one will have hurt. It'll have stretched his tendons yeah. out. Right. Side, your side's gone now. Yeah, I'm trying to go for it then. Not, not just out here. Try and get up. Just, just post it. Andy Barker advising him to go for height. Yeah, no, everything's gone. That now. Elbow's gone. And you can hear it from the man himself there. Everything's gone. The tendons have gone. Little Ted, the elf Wilson. You can't knock this guy. He's, he's absolutely no quit in Ted. He's given away enormous strength and leverage advantages here. Maybe not strength, actually, because he's matched Paul Waters, to be fair, every step of the way on, in strength. Ted may even have the stronger arm of the two, but he doesn't have the leverage, and he doesn't have the weight, and he doesn't have the height. And Paul Waters is as smooth as silk, and he nails that one to the pad. Oh, I've been so impressed with this youngster. Paul Waters is incredible. And he nails that to the pad. And look at that. 